Hey, Jimbo. Good, how we doing? Good. Right, got a good first pad practice in. Yeah, guys are getting after pretty good. Pretty physical practice. Uh, guys still installing on those new guys, and, but uh, you saw a lot of flashes of their abilities and some of the older guys stepping up and getting back into play. First day we had some real playing and wish we had another week. We wish we didn't have to take off right now, but it is what it is. So we'll get some guys healed up hopefully after a uh, break and get them back. And uh, some of the guys were out at the beginning of spring. We hope get some of those guys back. Question? So what is the downside of you having three practices? You break the momentum. Now, you, you, know, you can get some guys healthy, it gives you that back. But still, when you come back, it's hard to go 10 days without playing football and come back. And then you jump right back in. I mean, you have to because that's just the way it is. It might fall. But, you know, it is what it is. From a, from a mental toughness standpoint, would you say DeAndre is one of the strongest on the team? One of the, yeah, I would say that, top? without a doubt. Is he, at, is he at the top? Or? No, he's, he's up there. There's quite a few of them, but he's up there. When you have a player like that kind of leading your offense, what does that do for the players around you? Well, when he, when he puts his influence on the other guys, yeah. and hopefully yeah, that's what he's trying to do and what he's been doing, and it makes it hard for them not to play the same way. Talking about the, the colored jerseys you're wearing in your fourth quarter drills, have you really seen the effort and accountability you were preaching carry over into these first Yes, games? I have. As far as can I complain about our effort and getting things and running and getting the drills and all the things that, you know, that those drills create, I can't complain about that in first two practices. When you come back from the break, will you be back in the full pads right now? Oh, yeah, you got to. We'll be right shelled, but the same thing. Yeah. You got one other non-pad day, you got to. You well, talked a few times about how the, the playoff, you think it might devalue some of the other bowl games or, or how a season might have. Now that we've had three years of the playoff, has that, you think that's come to play? I think this was the first year that it wasn't that way. I think this was the first year that it was, you know, I don't know whether it mattered, but people enjoyed playing great games and people got up. There were great matchups. I think the Orange Bowl and Rose Bowl, some of those games really, and there's other games. I mean, I know those two for sure were really significant games. Do you expect that to continue then, or maybe it's just because they were good games? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, for college football, I do. And for the game of football and, and our sport, I really do. Do you think it was good then for, for this fan base? Because they have playoff, they're going to have playoff expectations. Yeah, you've got to realize that. I mean, think about, I mean, it was a lot of years, even that year, they in the 14-year run, that you were 6th, 7th, 8th in the polls and played in the game and ended up in the top four. I mean, that, that, that's a significant year. And you play rivals and you have success. and You, have, you, win, 10, you win 10 games or more and all that stuff. I mean, you, you can't, you, you, when you start throwing that away, you get in trouble. You know, the guy like Ryan Izzo that's played so much football yeah. in his career, what does that do for just the, having him out there with the I'm going to tell you what right now, he's playing really, he has had, he, there may be as, as dependable and reliable a player as we have on our team right there. I'm telling you, from top to bottom, doing everything right, being a good guy, going to school, doing well, playing hard, practicing hard, meeting well. I mean, he, he, he is, and he's really turned into a really good football player. When that clicks, can you, can you tell it? I mean, is it just, oh, yeah, you know, guy? you know, you know, you do. Because you get out there and, you, and when things happen, you just start doing them and you realize you know what's happening. And when that guy does it, you know how to counter it, you know how to do this. I mean, you just get that feel. And, and that's the sense I get from him. Right? Do you sense that other teammates are kind of sensing the same thing and using well, I don't know. I, I mean, hopefully they are. I mean, but we'll see. We pointed out on film. I've seen the younger centers kind of handling more playing time. It's been interesting. I mean, they've, they've, they've gotten their hands full. I mean, they've, they've done a good job. I mean, we've mixed them in. And, and uh, they've got a lot of run pass stuff and live stuff. And you know, center's an extremely, extremely tough place to play because you're learning it's not one of the hardest positions inside because of the way you got block and snap, but then the calls and all the things that go with it. So they've done have a pretty good couple of days. Seeing the, seeing the freshmen in full contact, how, how the early The early. guys that I know, I'll, I'll go back and watch the film and see it extensive, but the guys that those, they, they belong. They belong, that's for sure. I, I mean, if people say that, but that's about as good a comp as you can get from it. You think about a guy coming out of high school, you're on a team that's as talented, have talent, and players like we have, and come in and fit in, and you know, you do it. That, that I mean, to me, is, is that doesn't happen all the time. Did Kando get dinged up? Yeah, he had a hamstring. He pulled it the first day. So hopefully, that's another tell you, you know, a guy like that, you get, you get the rest of this week off, and then hopefully next week, hopefully you'll get back in the practice. Keep Gavin in the blue. Yep. Turned an ankle yesterday. Just ran a route, and, and I'm gonna tell you what. For a day and a half, was playing outstanding. I'm talking about fast, strong, running routes. It's a shame. It's a shame he got hurt. So we have to wait and see. I was like, he just he ran a route, and Greg ran this one out, and he just rolled his ankle. Like nobody hit that this time. Route, and uh, but he was doing really, really well for a day and a half of the practice. I mean, like I mean, it's like we thought he could win. What have you seen from the other wide receivers the last couple of days? I guess? 
I mean, same stuff. Local guard, running routes. One more. Look good.